Did you know that blood pressure numbers run higher during the winter than they do in warmer seasons? Did you know that Americans are more likely to have a heart attack or stroke in the coldest winter months than the rest of the year? This phenomenon of increased blood pressure in the winter can be explained by the seasonal variation in blood pressure with a winter peak as observed in the many studies. This image is from the STEP study or the study for strategy of blood pressure intervention for elderly hypertensive patients. You can see the black dotted line. It represents the weather temperature across the months. It increases in the summer with a peak high in July and decreases in the winter with the trough low in January. The blue and red lines represent blood pressure numbers with medical treatment. This graph presents a clear direct correlation between temperature and blood pressures with hot temperatures reducing both systolic and diastolic blood pressure and cold temperatures increasing blood pressure numbers. This has been confirmed by numerous studies. Research has also found that both stroke and heart attack rates double in cold winter months. Even in patients with normal blood pressure, winter can shift them into the hypertensive category. Winter is commonly called heart attack season. During the colder winter months, it is important to take extra care of your blood pressure to lower the risk of cardiovascular incidents. Make sure you listen to the end to learn the two things to avoid that may quickly worsen your blood pressure during winter. Here's why winter is riskier for those with hypertension. Cold temperatures constrict blood vessels, causing the same amount of blood volume to be pumped through a smaller space. This basically means that the pressure exerted against the walls of the blood vessels is higher, increasing pressure in an already too highly pressurized system. Additionally, cold temperatures also cause blood fluids to congeal and thicken, causing the heart's muscles to exert more force to pump oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. This can cause the heart muscles to enlarge over time. Furthermore, cholesterol and triglyceride levels tend to be higher in winter than in summer, which may also contribute to elevated blood pressure. This increase in cholesterol may be due to reduced physical activities, a change in winter eating habits, weight gain, and other seasonal lifestyle changes. Other potentially important seasonal risk factors are variations in serum levels of noradrenaline and catecholamine stress hormones, vasopressin, an antidiuretic hormone, nitric oxide bioavailability, a vasodilator. These can all compound high blood pressure and increase the risk for stroke and heart attack, particularly in the winter. In order to lower blood pressure immediately, it is recommended to engage in activities that promote vasodilation, a relaxation of the blood vessels, which increase the space for blood to travel. One super fast way to reduce blood pressure spike is by drinking a hot spicy cup of strong ginger tea. Ginger contains compounds that have vasodilatory properties, which means they help to relax and widen the blood vessels, subsequently lowering blood pressure. Additionally, ginger is inherently spicy, promoting internal heat, supporting vasodilation. Additionally, the hot water in the tea also adds to the heat of the tea, further relaxing the blood vessels. To further compound vasodilation in the blood vessels and open up that tight constricted cardiovascular system, you may take a hot bath right after you drink hot ginger tea or while you're drinking it. This may also be accomplished with sauna use. The combination of the hot bath or sauna and the hot spicy ginger tea helps to dilate and relax the blood vessels. It helps sweat out salt and fluids, leading to an immediate decrease in blood pressure. Hot ginger tea will heat you up from the inside out, and the hot bath or sauna will heat you up from the outside in. This dual approach works synergistically to provide quick relief to lower blood pressure levels. This trick can reduce your blood pressure for hours. It may not permanently reduce hypertension, and it should not be relied on as such, but it can offer temporary relief and help manage high blood pressure episodes. What you want to avoid, please listen closely, is drinking very cold, ice or frozen drinks when you have hypertension, especially when you're feeling cold, as the cold fluids will travel down through your esophagus, which is located very closely to the veins and arteries of your heart. You also want to avoid prolonged cold exposure, which would cause blood vessels to constrict. So dress warm and use the recommendations of ginger tea and hot bath or sauna prior to being out in the cold. This tip of avoiding cold may sound counterintuitive to you if you run hotter like many people with hypertension because your body may want to cool heat from inflammation intuitively with cooler temperature and cold food and drinks. Make sure you check with your medical doctor, follow his or her recommendations, and are consistent monitoring blood pressure and taking blood pressure meds year-round, and especially in the winter months so that you are reducing your risks of stroke and heart attack. It is important to note that maintaining a healthy lifestyle and learning to manage stress levels are essential for healthy blood pressure. Subscribe to get the most powerful long-term tricks to reduce blood pressure.